You might be wondering, what is that sound? Well, we are going on an adventure. But if you think I'm on my way to the airport, you are sorely mistaken, because I am not. I am wheeling my suitcase to Costco. Yeah. As you already probably know, trains are huge in Japan. Nobody really takes taxis. Everyone uses public transport. That's why it's so efficient, so good, and so busy. So I am taking a 40 minute train to Costco because I want to see what Costco in Japan is like um, and I anticipate buying lots of things that I don't need in bulk um, but I don't want to carry them all back on the train so I'm bringing my suitcase. Alright we're hoping for the same train look that I had the other day. The train's so confusing here because you get on the train that you're meant to get on but then sometimes it stops at different stops, there's rapid services, there's not rapid services. Honestly I feel like I need to watch a tutorial on it but I'm still just kind of blindly getting onto trains. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is the face of someone who thinks they got their own stuff. But I'm not sure yet. I spotted a lady with a bulk box. Oh, 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 wait, I see it. I, I am brilliant. I feel brilliant. Ha, ha, ha. I've conquered the trains once again. Yeah. Now I just have to get to Costco. I'm nearly there. These stairs will not be fun after my trip to Costco. Successfully installed my suitcase on my trolley and oi, we're going on. Look at this sorcery. No hands. And we're going up, so I'm facing down. I love this place. Is it magnet? What is it? Um, this is crazy. I mean, it's so good, but as on my word. This is so cool. They're super prepared for people to bring suitcases. Like I told you, it's normal. So I get a little tag and um, hand my suitcase in there. So I imagine when I come back around, I get my suitcase and then I can pack it up. Which is so good as well, because then I don't have to carry it around the shop with me. Now for the good stuff. I've actually set myself a budget, as in I only brought enough, I don't have a bank card yet, so I only brought enough cash, like that's my budget. So I have like just under a hundred pounds to spend. First off, have to remark on how quiet and tranquil it is in here. It's so nice, just like everywhere else in Japan, very, very quiet. Everyone's very respectful, keeping themselves to themselves. It's also small. It's oh my gosh, there's a, there's a Kellogg's jacket with Tony the Tiger on it. What the heck? Who's that as well? He's Haribo? Is that the Harry? Is he on Haribo's? What the heck? Fruit of the Loom socks. Does that remind anyone else of the school uniform? I feel like all my school uniforms have that Fruit of the Loom label in them. <laughs> Wait, why do I love this? They have Kankans for like 40 quid. Feels like Ikea over here. Distracted already. Look at all the Crick Crack Crocs. I mean, I did bring mine, but can you ever have too many pairs of Crocs? Hang on, I really like these. They've got a little platform. What's that? Like 17 pounds? That's cheap, isn't it, for Crocs? Costco Japan is elite. Look at this Cavi bum bag. That is so good. Hang on a minute. Do I need this? They sell merch? What the heck? I actually don't think I preface this video with how big of a Costco fan I am. I am one of those weirdos that goes to Costco for fun. I just like to walk around and look what there is. Even if I don't buy anything, but it is more fun when you can buy things. Oh, look what they do have. Oh, the head torches. That is so tempting because I love, love a head torch. However, I did get bought one for my birthday. That Dyson Air app is cheap. 175 quid. That can't be right. I had to leave my Dyson Air app at home and I'm an Air app girly through and through. And that being 150 quid makes me want to buy it. But I can't. Because I'm on a hundred pound budget and I don't need another Dyson Air app, do I? Let's be honest. Let's be sensible. I don't have this, however. That feels like a really good deal and I really want it. I would have to leave it 
IKEA because the same reason I couldn't bring my Dyson Airwrap with me. Our voltage is different in the UK. That would actually blow up because <laughs> we run at a higher voltage. You can even get Kirkland merch for your pet. <gasps> I'm not really sure how I get this back home, but look at it. It's so perfect for one person. So pretty. That right there is my entire budget. <laughs> I was starting to get a bit concerned because I'd done every aisle and I hadn't found any food yet and I was like, oh, where is it? Guys, there's a second floor. So far, I want a pair of Crocs. I want a Strob cast iron pan too, actually. And I also want this drink, mate. I've left them all behind because like I said, I'm on a very strict budget. But if there's budget left at the end, I might whip back around and get them. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the stuff. I already see. I was talking about the instant noodles, not the one. I mean, I'm really not surprised, but the seafood is amazing. I think I might buy a tray of salmon and then I can just portion it up and put it in my freezer. They have literally everything you can ever imagine. Look at this octopus, it's already cooked. These prawns, how beautiful they are. So, so nice. And they're like 10 pounds, I think. They've got roe, they've got everything literally got a whole section dedicated to salmon well not that bit more salmon look at all the sushi oh my gosh it looks so good and it's so cheap look for all that it's like 20 quid well less than cooked food section is also amazing i don't think we have this flavor pizza at home miso pork noodle Tradish, lasagna, like pastas, everything you could possibly imagine. It just keeps going. Obviously can't leave Costco without a cooked chicken. Holy balls. Look at that wagyu. Look at that. That's like 20 quid for that level of marbling. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> We're in desserts. Apricot and pistachio tart. And then this. strawberry custard cake. I don't know if you know right now, but it's strawberry season in Japan and I have a current obsession with eating all the strawberry things that I can possibly get my hands on. Wow, I really want to try this. It's a matcha loaf. Look how good that looks. But I don't need three, I'm just one person. I looked out, she was handing out samples of the matcha cake. Mmm. 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 Yeah, that's good. It's actually really sweet. It's like matchy at the beginning, but the crumble and the white chocolate make it so sweet. It is a little bit dry. I don't think I need three, but I want to buy them. <laughs> you can mix and match on bagels, so you choose any two from this list. Yes, I'll oblige. Um, I think I want cheese. Oh, should I get plain with the cheese? Plain cheese, plain cheese. I definitely want cinnamon raisin because they're delicious. Oh, this is so fun. This is loads of instant ramen from local areas. Okay, so FYI, anyone coming to Costco, um, if you want to go back upstairs after you've been down to the second floor, um, you have to leave the trolley. So I've just like left my trolley in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I'm going back up because I got the stuff that I wanted for downstairs and now I really want to get that um, drink mate because I drink a lot of sparkling water and even though the sparkling water here is really really cheap, the single use plastic makes me feel really guilty. Got my drink mate, got my Crocs, yay! And there's my trolley, literally not moved an inch. Found some fresh bread on the way which I bought so that I could have a chicken sandwich. Yay, I came in under budget. Okay, so a bit of a random haul because I just got chicken, salmon, a huge block of cheese, two packs of bagels, some bread, a drink mate, and some crocs. <laughs> but I came in 20 pounds under budget and it's all things that I needed. Now let's go check out the cafe. So food ordering's just up here. And look, everyone just leaves their trolleys so that you can stand in line to order. I just think that's so cool. Oh my gosh, this menu. 
Um, there's things that we have, things that we don't have, like a pomegranate and raspberry smoothie. It sounds delicious. Also, I have to get this Hokkaido soft cream. And then look at these chicken and potato sticks. We definitely don't have those. Pizza options the same. Obviously, a hot dog. Goodness. They have an acai bowl. What the heck? I definitely want to try that, but I can't wait It's freezing. They have a clam chowder, um, a beef bulgogi, which I've already tried, so I'm going to try it today. Um, and the shrimp katsu burger. The things that are different, obviously, beef bulgogi bait because that's normally a chicken bait. But they have the beef bulgogi one in Shanghai, and I tried it there, and it is really good. And they also have a shrimp katsu burger, which we don't have. And I feel like I should try it, but I also just really want pizza for the nostalgia. What do I do? I would normally always get a Sprite, but they don't have it. Uh, I tried the orange one, and it tastes disgusting, so I'm going to try Mountain Dew. Okay, here I go. I push Mountain Dew. First off, it looks like a Barocca. Hmm. Actually kind of yum. It's a bit like Lucas Aid Lemonade. Can't imagine that can be good for me, but hey, we're not here for health, are we? Okay, there might be another scene in area somewhere, but they're all outside. So I'm actually sitting under the shelter where I parked my trolley. Okay, and I'm just going for Pepsi. Like. And I also got a slice of pizza because I wanted the pizza for nostalgia. I imagine the pizza's gonna be the same, so I was like, I can't just get pizza. Um, but it's what I fancy. But the shrimp katsu burger, apparently it's got like spicy slaw on it. Let's see. Right, this is what the burger looks like. It's delicious. You don't like prawns? Then it's probably your worst nightmare. If you like prawns, it's a pretty good burger. Mm. I'm glad I tried this. For the classic. Looks exactly the same as that. Exactly the same standard procedure. The crust looks a bit thinner. Mm. Nostalgia. And I know it is like one degree right now, but I absolutely love the Costco soft serve. Hazelnut and Hokkaido cream. Um, Hokkaido's in the north of Japan and that's where their dairy industry is. And Hokkaido cream is like a lactose intolerance person's worst nightmare. It's so creamy, it's delicious. Ooh, that hazelnut is so good. Mm. It's different to the normal soft serve in Costco, or like the Mr. Vithy, because the Hokkaido cream is like really creamy and less sweet. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like it's as sugary it feels like it's more more creamy that hazelnut is so good this is good i'm now going back up the little escalator thingy to get my suitcase i'm going to pack all my stuff in the suitcase here we go <laughs> just gonna pack the rest of my things oh my gosh guys i found an indoor seat area what an idiot Ooh, that wind is so cold now, but I just made it back to the station. Now I have to walk home with my stuff. I still got my salmon out. <laughs> I'm just cradling it. I also couldn't finish all my food. And you know how people say that those Uniqlo bags, like viral Uniqlo bag, hold everything? They really do. I almost have a full slice of Costco pizza in there. 
thank you so much for joining me on my first adventure to Costco in Japan. If there's anything that you would love to see in Japan, then please let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, then please feel free to like, follow, subscribe, turn those notifications on because I cannot wait to share some more adventures with you all. Bye!